Hi, this is Taj from the Watson Developer Experience team. In this video, we're going to show you how to create and authenticate an instance of Language Translator in the Language Translator demo scene. Let's move into our Language Translator demo script. We'll delete the update method because we're not going to use it. What we do need is a reference to the text field we're going to put the output to. Let's import UI. We're also going to need variables for our language translator instance and a string for translation model, which is what we're going to translate from to. Let's import language translator. In the start method, we're going to install default reactors for the log system so that we can see the Watson logs. We're going to create a credential object, and then we're going to create an instance of language translator using the credentials. First, the log system. Let's import the log system. Now we want to create the credentials. Let's import credentials. We're going to need a username, password, and URL. We saved those in the text editor, so let's move over there. Copy the URL. Copy the username. Copy the password. That's it for our credentials. Now we're going to create an instance of language translator. pass in the credentials. So we've created an instance of the language translator service and authenticated our instance with our credentials. In the next video, we're going to call the language translator service and translate a line of text from English to Spanish.